We're live, by the way. All right. Good week, everybody. Good week. Nick here. Nick and Co. Show. Brooklyn here. Oh, yeah. Say hi to everyone, Brooklyn. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, before we get going here, why don't you tell everyone about our social media stuff and where they can find us? All right. So you can find the Nick and Co. Show on Instagram and Twitter at Nick and Co. Show. <coughs> you can find us on Facebook, too. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at bgath 13 you can find Nick at Nicker Jones on Twitter and on Instagram at the Nicker Jones. Still haven't hacked that guy yet, but I'm going to. Going I just, to. I've been busy. Yes. I've been busy. I'm not a hacker. I'm going to find someone to hack him, but I'm going to do it. But it's it's all going to be on the up and up. Like I'm yeah. not. It's not mm-hmm. illegal hacking or anything. Well, I made it back Two from months. the <laughs> from the Columbus blowout. What a shit show! Ooh, I it, can't wait. Yeah, I, I, we're going to talk about it for sure. But I made it back from there, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about um, bacon. Mm. Who doesn't love bacon? I, I don't know. And a couple other things to talk about. But uh, first thing I want to talk about is the draft experience tournaments and the ones that we have coming up. Omaha sold out. Whoop. So nice. if you want to come to Omaha, should have signed up earlier. I mean, you can join the wait list, whatever. Um, second one after that, Colorado Springs. People are starting to... Filter in, start registering for that. And then my hometown, woot woot. Oklahoma City. Nice. I can't wait for that one. And then immediately following Oklahoma City, Cleveland, back to Ohio. Nice. So those are tournaments where we actually have to play hockey, not blowouts, like Columbus <laughs> BLPA blowouts where we just go and drink our faces off and pretend we're still in college because, you know, college town, Ohio mm-hmm. State. Mm-hmm. You've yeah. been there. I have, yeah. Went back in the day. Went for a little... In the day? <laughs> what, like three years ago? Uh, like four. Oh, oh. <laughs> so it was, it was back there. Went for a little Halloween weekend. And you, didn't you tell me you went to like a college football game? I did, was yeah. It, was that your first college football? It was. It was my, f- I think, first football game in general. Being Canadian, yeah. not football is not a thing. Not a huge thing. What did you think crowd-wise college football compared to NHL hockey? It, not, it does not compare. It's like nuts, I was. Eh? Walking, like I wasn't even in the stadium. Stadium, yep. that's the word I was looking for. And I could hear everyone chanting and cheering. And if you're outside, like the Saddle Dome or something, you don't hear anything. No. It was wild. It was electric. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you went like Halloween. So like, well, I mean, that's October. So they might have been playing in conference games by then. Um, but like, did you take part in any tailgating? Any? Yeah. You okay. did? Yep. Yeah. It was. It's not only the sound, it's just like that whole, like, yeah. it's not just, hey, I'm going to a football game. Like, when you go to a hockey game, like, okay, I'll go have a couple of drinks with the boys, mm-hmm. and then I'll go to the Dome, and after that, whatever, right? You're good. But college football, it's a, de- it's a day. Yeah. Like, it was a huge ordeal. I loved it. Every minute oh, of it. <laughs> I loved it, too. I, I, I got to go to uh, the Ohio Stadium, too, to watch my Oklahoma Sooners mm-hmm. uh, play the Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, How'd that the go? The Sooners just put it on them. Oh. Baker Mayfield. Runs out with the OU flag and then plants it on their 50-yard line. Ooh. Very disrespectful. <laughs> but, but hey, hey, hey when you, peace. Yeah, when you put a when you when you put a whooping on someone, that's what you do. You mm-hmm. say, This is my house. Yeah. Right? When I first met uh, the old lady, um, she tried to tell me that hockey games were louder than like college Aww. football games. And like when you go to uh, University of Oklahoma games, mm-hmm. uh, one side yells boomer. Ooh. The, the other side responds with sooner. So you have boomer sooner and it's going back and forth. And like, it's like, you can feel the, this, the noise, like the whole stadium is shaking. I took, I took Tanda one finally. And mm-hmm. she was like, all right, I, uh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Right. Because cool. she, cause I hadn't been to a, to a flames game, but mm-hmm. uh, at that point, so I didn't know. And she's like, I'm wrong. Like there's, but it's all like, there's a hundred thousand people yeah, in, in, in the stadium and only 20 and 20 at the most it seems like at nhl mm-hmm. stadium so uh but columbus hell of a time yeah good good i want to let everyone know i i had the best burrito qdoba oh. Oh, okay. i had qdoba there one time i didn't eat it all oh it's big oh that's big what you and big. i just the thing is i had it on saturday after friday night drinking rookie. so my my rookie. belly <laughs> yeah my belly wasn't able to really you know handle that like it was mm-hmm. dealing with all that other just, stuff in there. Just a couple just, other things. Just uh, so I didn't get that. But let me tell you about this. But we talked about it. We said, oh, what are we going to do? 
One thing we mentioned was karaoke. Yeah. Didn't happen. Shoot. I, I know that kind of ruins the story. It does. Doesn't mean we didn't sing. Mm. Because uh, apparently, we talked about Sweet Caroline being the song that the crowd just... Just... Sweet, Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. What's another song that you think? Hmm. Can I get a hint? Because there's a lot that come... Just just, just one. Just just tell one. Mr. Brightside is another one that gets... This is an going. older one. An older... Yeah. This like is like uh, probably 70s. This guy died in a plane crash. He was... He he flew the plane himself. Oh. Um, He actually wasn't allowed to fly planes because he'd had like two driving under the influence things and they banned oh. him, but he was like, nah. Yeah. Uh, and this is weird. Here, you want to know why he, he crashed his plane? Why? Because he ran out of fuel because he couldn't switch the fuel tank over. <laughs> oh, but I'm guess not, what? I'm not laughing. Well, no, but guess why he couldn't switch the fuel tank over? It was the new designed airplane, mm-hmm. and the valve was behind him. Like, he literally couldn't even see the fuel valves. You had to have a backseat passenger to see it. So before the this plane crash, the maintenance crew was like, here, here's you a mirror where you can Just hold it over. And, and look, <laughs> but to... To do the valves, he had to like actually turn all the way around and do it. And but anyway, that's why they say his plane crashed. Um, but how? Uh, okay. I'm Take me home, country road. Oh yeah. To a place, place I belong, I West, West Virginia, Virginia. mountain. Mount. But that was and that when that came on, like the whole this whole oh, bar. Okay. We I weren't in West. That's what I thought, like. Oh. <laughs> we weren't even in West Virginia. Like we're in Could Columbus, you Ohio. If you were. Yeah, I can because at their West Virginia college football games, the whole crowd oh. sings this thing. Whoa! So put you it on the list. Put it on. Put it on. I mean, Oklahoma goes there, so mm-hmm. I should go to West yeah. Virginia to just to have yeah. this. Put it on the calendar. Mountain Mamas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Mountain Mama. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So we did get to sing, but here's what happened with this Columbus block. We had a lot of people that came, just drink party, didn't really. I think they were all hockey players. Might have had one ball player. But most for the most part, mm-hmm. we were all hockey players. And we just went out to Columbus to drink, go watch the NHL, and then come back and drink some more. Nice. Two nights in a row. One night would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't do that here. <laughs> I think what I learned, I went way too hard on the first night. Oh, rookie. I, I mean, I still, I still completed the mm-hmm. second night. I just didn't have as much gusto uh, and I make yeah. my living on gusto, right? <laughs> just being out yeah. there. And I wasn't, I wasn't there. Uh, I mean, I still drank and we did like shots. We were doing pink Whitney's, which are, uh, you know, for yeah. the birds really. Um, try to get purple Nicky's going out there. Uh, that's okay. the new drink. That's right. purple Pedialyte and the cheapest vodka you can find. That's you can get drunk, All right. not pay a lot and still keep your electrolytes up. I purple Nikki's like it's the perfect drink. Well, it is. It is now like that's co- my copyright. I've said it. I've thought it into existence. I've made them before. Betcha. Did you check and see if there's an Instagram handle that is available for that? For purple Nikki's? Yeah. Uh, no, but we should. Yeah. But somebody we should. might have taken it. That same guy, the Nicker Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> Nicker Jones. <laughs> hey, Instagram Nicker Jones, you're a son of a bitch. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> but sorry, I had to take a little swig. Swig of cherry diet Pepsi. That's how I go. But anyway, so blast of a time. Mm. Um, Yeah, I I think the shots are what did it. We had shots. We had, they have this like hockey helmet beer siphon thing where you pull the the tab and it's a big tube that comes. Oh, we had, took down a few of those. Mm. Um, It it was something. It was something. Had bacon on a stick. Tell me about that. Okay, so here's the deal. (laughs) So here, everyone's always said, oh, Nick, you should do food reviews because everyone wants me or the people yeah. listen to me think I should be spitting chiclets, uh, which okay. in turn means I should be barstool, which in terms come, I should be Dave Portnoy who does pizza reviews, but everyone's always, Oh, you should do food reviews. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, listen, some, <laughs> I called him a third rate blogger on my, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was just Oof. a joke. That's just a joke, Dave. Um, but I said, well, th- this guy's already got the market core. I'm not going to do pizza reviews. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but we got drunk and people started talking about this, big ass piece of bacon on a stick. And I was like, guess who loves bacon? This guy, Nikki bacon lover. It's me. I've, I've heard that name before. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I like, I'll eat the shit out of it. And so like we were drunk and someone's like, Oh, you should do, you should do a arena food review of this bacon. And I was like, 
Bingo. That sounds perfect. Nice. Okay. okay. So, uh, so I did it. So here's the only shit part of it. I'm going to okay. play my review okay. in just one second. But first, let me tell you a little bit about this bacon. Okay. It's big pieces. It's probably 12 inches. It's a foot long piece, basically. Um, but they only have like this little round thing that they're cooking it on. Hmm. Only six pieces at a time. What? And so when I go up there and I'm like, I want two pieces of bacon, please. And I said it just like that. I want, like, I made it like a big, oh, like a, yeah. you know. And uh, I was like, here's my 14 bucks, $7 a piece. And she said, sorry, I can't sell it to you. What? And I was like, <laughs> because I live in Canada. Because <laughs> I said, please. Because <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I said, A. Uh, no, I don't think so. You are going to. She's like, I can't sell it to you because it's not done. And I was like, fine. Here's my prepayment. Yeah. She's like, we can't prepay for this. And I'm like, what? What, what, what you? Place is this? I was, why? And they're like, oh, well, if we prepaid it, there'd never be, we would just be cooking it and people would be buying it. I'm like, yeah, that's the whole <laughs> goddamn plan. And she's like, no, I, we just can't do it. And I said, okay, here's the deal. I'm going to stand right here <laughs> and I'm going to watch you make this bacon. And when it's done, I'm going to, I don't care if there's a line. I'm going to slide right back in, give you my 14 bucks and take my two pieces of bacon. How did that work? She was like, Hey, you do you, bud. <laughs> and I was like, please. And thank you. A. A. Yeah. Um, and so I stood there at this glass watching this bacon <laughs> be made for 20 minutes and I was intoxicated and I'm missing the game. And finally I, it got to the point where I pretty much said, listen up, I'm going to go, I'm going to go start a bacon stand right across the way and put you guys <laughs> out of business. And they're like, well, you have to have permits. And I'm like, well, I don't live here anyway, but here's what I am going to do. I'm going to buy all six pieces of that bacon. And then I'm going to set up right over there and sell it for 20 bucks a piece. What do you think about that? And she's like, I, I can't stop you, (laughs) but the bacon's done. Do you want all six pieces? And I was like, no, I just want two. And, uh, so I got my two pieces. Okay. Yeah. Um, and here is, here is that review. Let me see if I can find it really fast here. Oh, here we go. All right, I waited 20 minutes for this thing. Bacon on the stick. You're never going to go wrong with bacon, but I missed half the first period, but it's okay. But let's see if it's worth it. Oh, it's fucking hot. Oh, it's fucking... Oh, that's so good. Bacon on a stick, Columbus Arena. Worth it. So there it is. Just wow. worth it. <laughs> and you yeah. saw it. Like, look how big that bacon was. It was, was good. It was like 12 inches. <laughs> like, 12 inches of bacon right in my mouth. And so then I found out after, like today actually, mm-hmm. that they uh, they have like a maple syrup dip that they oh. give with you to dip that in. <laughs> and so because I'm living in Canada, they don't offer that to me. That's kind of rude. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Okay. One thing we forgot to do before, mm. I got I got a couple more Columbus stories, okay. but I want to cut this off All right. right in the middle to give praise, praise to the beer league gods, Mr. Hess, Mr. Nall. All praise be unto thee, and please rain your blessings down upon us lowly beer leaguers. Help us score goals. Help us hit dingers. Help us rape the net. T-line some balls. <laughs> let's, t- <laughs> let's T-line some balls. All powerful, all knowing, our blessed beer league fathers. August individuals of sport. We love thee mm-hmm. and we praise thee. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Now listen, these are our beer league gods. These are the people that donate at the highest level on Patreon. If you want to, if you want to help this show get better and it can be better, I know you're probably thinking like, <laughs> how can this show get any better? It can get better. Just go over to patreon.com slash beer league Inc. I N C and you'll find us. Hey, we get, we give a cool gifts. If you guys help support us and we really do put all the money back into the show to do cool stuff, cameras, mics, videos, uh, to be able to put out content. I mean, how else am I going to buy $7, 12 inch <laughs> pieces of bacon? Right? I mean, come on. But no, we really appreciate the hockey go- uh, the beer league gods and everyone else that donates. You guys are freaking rad. Thank mm-hmm. you guys very much. This music is still the best. So soothing. So, 
a couple other stories. Um, you know, how when's the last time you threw up while you were drinking? Last week. Um, while you were drinking, while I was drinking, not the day after, because my thing is like oh, I drink, after. it messes up my stomach. Yeah. Um, and I always say oh, it's because I have stomach issues. Mm-hmm. No, it's because I drank right. way too much. I know that, but I like to play it off like I'm Mr. Oh. Cool. I just, I've got other health issues, diabetes. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, when's the last time you dr- you threw up because while drinking? While drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, Christmas party, not this year, the year before that I can remember. It's just like the last one I remember. Uh, I get too excited when it's an open bar and I just can't control myself and just want to try all the drinks, so... Just had a couple ones that really just didn't mix well in the stomach. Um, paralyzers and super Ooh. sweet uh, slushy drinks. Oh, yeah, the stinger Maybe bombs. Maybe Caesar in there, too. <laughs> Ooh, just mixing it in. What a way to celebrate the Lord's birth. You know? So yeah. you puked, like, there mm-hmm. and then continued or left? It's a free bar. So you continued. I, I continued. like you puke and rally. <laughs> I like that. So not myself. I did not puke. No. I didn't puke at all during this. Proud of you. Yep, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, really living my best life there. Yeah. I mean, I was Thriving. we were pounding. They had like green tea shots. What? What's in that? I don't know. Green okay. tea and booze, but it made me healthy. feel like I was getting drunk and feeling healthy. Yeah. Okay. And then there was like breakfast shots. Don't know what was in them, but I liked them. Yep. Pink Whitney shots. Um, what else? Is it stinger bombs? Okay. I know there's blue curacao in there. That's oh. about all I know. But I know I've almost died on them twice in Columbus. <laughs> I'm diabetic, you know. Oh, um, I so I really loaded up on that insulin. I know that's hey, listen, don't live your life as I live mine. Like I make a lot of mistakes and I, if you're diabetic, I don't want you thinking that this is how you should do things, but that's show business. That's you got to get the content. <laughs> that's show biz, right? I mean, that's what you got to do. Um, as a matter of fact, I saw a lady, like I saw a lady be wheeled out of a bar on a stretcher Oh, and uh, while laying there ugh, puking up as they were going, um, I don't know how you let yourself get to yeah. that point, but this one person in the group, I won't say his name. Yeah, I will. No, I won't. Mr. Purple. There, you'll know who he is. Okay. The purple, the purple dude. The purple dude. Okay. I look over. He looks pretty rough, but I'm like, hey, okay. this guy, this guy makes his own decisions. I mean, yeah. he posted a photo of himself wearing purple jersey, purple socks, purple visor, purple everything. Mm, guy likes and, purple. Yeah, and got roasted. And became a BLPA sensation <laughs> because he's wearing purple. And people, there's literally people that hate him because he wears all this. And they're like, why is this guy? But, but anyway. Anyways. so But I'm like, hey, this guy makes his own decisions. Yeah. I shouldn't tell him to slow down. Nope. That's not my place. No. Nope. Right? But I look over and he's got a cup in his hand. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that one's full. So I hand him another one. He fills up two cups. Wow. A uh, question. Yeah. Was it purple? <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find a purple drink. That's the oh. thing. We we asked for a purple drink. They didn't have them. But he went hard. Mm. I think he stuck around for a little bit, but then I didn't see him again oh, much after. Yeah. So uh that's how his night went. Oh, he and we high five we high fived him. Mm. Yeah. And that was it, right? Yeah. And then we went back the next night. It was a little more low key. Okay. Everyone's kind of hurting. My problem was that I had to be up at like three in the morning to get to the airport. That's when you don't sleep. I know, but I, that that's really what kills me at my age. Oh. I can't, I can't do the, even the th- the two and a half hours I got, it, it, oh. it messes. Once you go to sleep, you only get a little bit. It's way worse, I think. Oh, way worse. Right? Yeah. Definitely but I, but you can't agree. drink and drive to the airport, right? Oh, that's that's just why, yeah. You Uber did that in Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't sleep. Right uh, so, so that was the blowout and yeah. it was a blast. Yeah. It was, a, I can't wait to do it. I just don't know wh- where should, like you're the well-traveled person. Where should we do another blowout like this? It continental. Okay. Um, you could do the class. Nashville's always a hoot. I'm yeah. Some, you can get some sports in there. Wait, that's I tried to do that with the last project oh. and it got like, at one, right. when all of it unfolded, mm-hmm. I had 14 people ready to rumble. Ready to rumble. And then they it got shut down. But that, that, that if I've done it once, I can do it again. Oh yeah, just like this podcast. I did one once, built and it right back up. Again. Two months later, yeah, we're even better, even better, bigger, <laughs> bigger and better. better. <laughs> Greatest hockey show in the world. Woo-woo. Um, 
So yeah, I, I, I posed that question to the group and was like, mm-hmm. Hey, where, where should we go? And obviously it's Nashville yeah. and, the, and there's a lot of places we're already going people like yeah. Cleveland. They announced Cleveland. We're doing Cleveland in, uh, July, July 17th, but it's a, a hockey tournament. Boston, we're doing a back to back weekend. That, Boston, yeah, that you was coming? another. Yeah, I'm sign me up. I'll be there. To sign drink. her up. We have a team tournament on the first weekend, mm-hmm. and then the next weekend is the draft. Nice. And so I'm just gonna stay. Might as well. You know. Yeah. Maybe See bring some it, things. Bring out the wife and and baby. Ooh, you know that kind of stuff yeah. for the week, and yeah. and then uh, just bookend it with some drunken shenanigans. Sounds like a hoot and a half. Hoot and a half. Hoot, hoot and a half. Can you say it in like a Minnesotan accent? Mm. You can do it here. I need I need inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I'm not the accent guy, but I know they say you betcha, and isn't that what you betcha? That's a you betcha. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. yeah, Don't do, yeah. do that one. Do no. do that one, but <laughs> no. the other one. I think that I think that you nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. I'm um, here all week. <laughs> okay, let me let, let me ask you a serious question about hockey because mm-hmm. something happened today, and it kind of led into wh- what I want to know. But let me let me pull this up just so. Just so, uh, I hope I can find it. I know I can find it. I just have to find it. I'll cut this if we need to. Hold on one second here. Then I said, oh, I sent yeah, you the you picture. Oh, here we yeah. go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Back in. Back in the game. All right, so let me preface it with this question to you first. Okay. I know you're not in beer league hockey yet yet but you're gonna be yeah we got you Mm -hmm. okay are you worried concerned or have you ever been worried or concerned about playing co-ed sports as in with boys men co-ed co-ed oh yeah okay i said co-ed right yeah yeah. okay no that's the question oh uh not really no i haven't personally Felt that I guess probably I've done co-ed volleyball, mm-hmm. which not hockey, but everyone's pretty. I wonder chill if about it. yeah, I want. I mean, I've I've never been around the volleyball. I've never been around the pits, mm-hmm. volleyball pits. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never been. Yeah, what else do they call it? I keep it court right. maybe. Mm, that's like basketball. I've never been. Uh, I've never been around the volleyball pits. All right, yeah. much myself. No. Nope. So I don't know if it's stereotypically viewed by volley bros <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> as being like a super masculine sport and fuck women that play it. Mm, yeah. No. I don't, is that no. Pre- and I'm not saying that that's what hockey is completely, but there's tints or hints of that hockey bros. Yeah. Right. And I, where I started playing, there was very few mm-hmm. women that played. Yeah. Like I can remember Pookie, Angie, one chick from the Tinker Hawks, maybe one other one in our whole league. Oh. Like maybe four or five. Someone, some would come to pick up that I didn't see like in games, but not many. Mm-hmm. Right. So um, in Calgary, way more, but there's also way more hockey players, right? A lot of more girls grew up playing hockey so it's kind of filtered in but i'm sick and fucking tired of hockey bros really yeah right i mean just and not all of them like some hockey bros are funny like because they're yeah. they don't take it like they're just being idiots to they're just be yeah. funny right mm-hmm. but so someone posted in the group today and she just wanted to share it about a, a, a shitty message that she got this weekend yeah and i i wanted to run it by you okay. and see what yeah. you thought about it and see if you've ever had any experience like this um let me read it. Yep. Okay. She's already she's already saw it because I we like to pre mm, research, yep. right? Because yep. we're professionals. Pro- yeah, strictly. Okay. So this comes from this looks like a DM, and uh, the backstory is she doesn't know who did it, who sent this to her. The guy made a fake account, I guess. He has one post, but the message is a pretty blunt, and it goes like this: but Listen up. Let's get one thing straight here. You as a hockey player suck. Without your team, you are terrible. You solo have no skill whatsoever. Besides chasing the puck, but no stick handling or real talent. You go around flaunting your tough and whatnot. But when you stand four foot nine inches, what exactly can you do to anyone? Because you're a girl? Ha. 
you bitch about everything more than the others. It's like dealing with a miniature chihuahua, which fits you perfect being a Mexican. So I'd be more careful on the ice before we set that overbite back to where it needs to be. See you on the ice. We'll be watching you and your pals. Winky face emoji. What the literal fuck? So many questions. Like what a... Like Ugh. all of it. Like Ugh. not even like one. Why would you go in and search someone out and DM yeah. them from a fake account with that? DM yeah. them at all. Mm-hmm. A girl. Yeah. And I, hey, listen, we've had a little experience on this show. A yeah. couple thirsty dudes. Yeah. We got you. Mm-hmm. I know that's how it goes sometimes, but it's never negative like that. Like they're, no, they're, they're showing dick pics, right? Yeah. And that we don't condone that either. No, no. But we do condone Nick pics and I'll send one to anyone that wants them. Just let me know. <laughs> I'm Nick, by the way. Um, but no, <laughs> what I, I don't understand. It's not even like sexist. It's also the racist thing The Oh, you being a Mexican. And then the, we're going to set your over. Like he's threatening her. Yeah. He's, I just don't, I, I don't get it. I do I, not get it. I just, what would make him want to create a fake account and hide behind that? He's just looking even more. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, here's the deal. Um, a lot of people wonder why there's so much violence in the world. Mm-hmm. And it's because people like this need to have their ass kicked. Yeah. Really? You know? Like, you know what would stop him from doing that? Getting his getting his face punched in? I think. Like, and if you weren't, why wouldn't you just say that to person? Unless you're scared of getting the crap beat out of you. Exactly. That's why you're hiding behind a thing. And I doubt he's very good at what he does. There was a um, lot of small penis jokes when this was posted as well. That's exactly what I was thinking. So I wasn't going to say it. So big dick energy is a thing. He probably drives a really jacked up truck. <laughs> truck nuts? <laughs> oh, yeah. But people, there is a such thing as big dick energy. Yep, definitely. I guess there's also such thing as small dick energy. This guy is reeking of it. Reeking. Ugh. He, re- hey. His username is awful. Cravings for <laughs> day. What is he craving? And what day? Like Tuesdays? Why not? Why isn't he? He just craves on one day. Can you be more specific? What like, craving? What day? <laughs> or or is it every day? Shouldn't you crave it every day? Yeah. Right. Or maybe, maybe you have it on one day. You don't need it the next day. Maybe he's craving for attention every day. For sure. Definitely. And I just I just don't know. I mean, it's just people people suck yeah. for the most part. Like yeah. this sucks, and I'm sorry that that's what what's her name. Damn it! I can't pronounce it. I'm going to, I'm going to butcher this name, but I'm going to say it mm-hmm. just because I, I want to let her know that we got her back. Yeah. Naily, Nay Eli. It's N-A-Y-E-L-I. Naily, maybe? Yep. Naily? Yeah. I like Sounds it. Okay. Naily, we got your back with the BLP. I'm, I'm glad you brought this to our attention. Mm-hmm. I, we're, we probably can't find this guy and punch his face in, but no. he needs it. I Definitely. hope, I hope he gets it some, I mean, uh, you, you like to think that karma comes around. Yeah. It, have, you have any karma stories? I don't have any because I just thought about this. Like, is there any karma story? Like, w- next week we should yes, talk about yeah, some okay. karma stories where, like, something happened and we're like, oh, I hope something comes around and bites them in the ass. Uh, I, yeah, you got one? I do. New Year's Day, a couple years ago, driving down, a, it was really snowy, driving down a hill. This asshole just speeds behind, beside me on the right hand. I'm like, it's really snowy, it's super slippery. 30 seconds later, he's just spinning out, flies into the ditch. I'm like, hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. I got one, too. All right. Let's hear it. Perfect. So, it's a hockey one, too. Cool. Okay. So, I remember we were playing in Texas. Mm-hmm. Nitex it was named NY Texas name okay. of the rink. We were playing in a tournament called, I don't know, March Meltdown or something, something weird like that. And our team was pretty good because, not because of me at all. Um, I just had really good line mates. Um, but we, it's, it's so hard in tournaments because you don't know levels, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you come from Oklahoma and you bring your buddies and you're like, okay, this is a C level. Well, they have a, a D and an E. And so we thought, okay, we'll be okay. But we were better than most of the teams skill wise. So the teams hated us Mm. and we're playing the championship game last game. And, uh, we got the other teams are literally watching, cheering for this other (laughs) team. It was the, it. I mean, it's beer league hockey, but I get it. They didn't like us. We yeah. blew out everyone else. Um, so we're playing, and it, it's just stupid, chippy hockey. Like everything is a play, and we, we suck. Like we're not good. Like we were better than 
uh. everyone else, but we, we weren't good. Like we just thought we were. Mm-hmm. And so we're playing and it's always push and shove and always. And some dude is like, like, this is something to be pushing. And he's like, you want to fight? You want to go? <laughs> and I was like, listen, why? Just like, dance. just drop your gloves if you're going to do it. Like, and so he drops them and I'm just like, all right, Taylor. And he gets a penalty. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, ha, got him. Right. Nice. And so this is how the power play went. All right. I'm lined up. We're on uh, looking at the goal. Okay. We're looking at the goal. Okay. Face offs to the right side. All right. Okay. I'm the left wing. Yep. Okay. Our forward or our center wins mm-hmm. back to the D guy. Okay. D guy passes over to me. Boom. I score a goal. Oh. And instead of, oh, yeah, humble brown. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> last one I scored probably like <laughs> six years ago. Um, instead of celebrating with my teammates like I should have. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we just tied the game on a power play that I drew nice. because this guy did this right. Yeah. Instead I skated over to the box. Ooh. Gave him a big old blew him a kiss. Oh, tasteful. Like that. So tasteful. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Whistle. Oh, uh, I get a penalty for shoot. unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> <laughs> Home t- hometown cooking for sure. Oh, yeah, but, definitely. But then they score on that power play. They win the game <laughs> and that's, my car. I got the karma. You got the karma. I got it for me. I should have <laughs> just, just celebrated with my friends. No kidding. But I didn't. All right. So that's <sighs> a lesson. Lesson. Always you don't celebrate with friends. <laughs> always celebrate with friends. You don't have to show anyone up. No. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. It's still rad that I did that, that I drew the penalty, scored, and then blew the guy a kiss. Mm-hmm. Sucks that, you know, my team couldn't help me out and kill that penalty. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's pretty much it that I think. And so, um, I, I just, I don't understand why people have to be like that in yeah. hockey. There's no room for it. Like we're, we're all beer leaguers just trying to play and have fun and keep in shape. And I say competitive in the form of it's nice to compete against other people and have a bar mm-hmm. instead of just playing shinny where it's just breakaway after breakaway after breakaway and no one cares. It's nice to have organized games where you're trying to win something, but the winning doesn't really matter. And I go into this saying and knowing that I'm saying this, when I know there's been times where I've lost my <laughs> shit, I, I fully understand that. And I'm not hiding and running from that. Those are exceptions to yeah, the rule. Of course. There's right? always exceptions. There's always. And when you do it, <laughs> well, I, when that ref called me a motherfucker and I chewed him up one side and down the other. Mm. And then he, <laughs> then he took, kicked me off out of the game. And I said, if I'm leaving, you're leaving. And he was like, let's go. <laughs> I'll go call the tournament director right now. Oh. I was the tournament director. <laughs> uh, so anyway, but he, he went to the box. He goes, tell me your name. I'm going to tell the tournament director. I'm like, um, Nick Fleahart. And he's like, Oh, you're the tournament director. Um, that was not got cool. Him. And I just got, I only got heated cause he called me names. Oh, right. Okay. And, and I, I'm a competitive guy. I don't like losing, but the more I get past my prime, which was mm-hmm. 30 years ago when I was six, um, <laughs> um, I, the, the more it's, it, it is just for fun. Everyone should be able to play. Everyone should be able to, mm-hmm. to, play with each other and not have to worry about dicks that say, Oh, you can't play with me cause you're a girl or Hey, you can't play with me cause you're gay. It's just stupid. Yeah. Let's just be adults. Let's play hockey and enjoy yeah. each other and enjoy life. There you go. And cold brewskis. Can't right? go wrong with a cold brewski. Yeah. So anything else from you, Brooklyn? You want to, you want to talk about anything? You want to get anything off your chest? No, I think, uh, you think I covered it all. Yeah. I do that sometimes. Don't be afraid to butt in sometimes. I know we're yeah. still we're still in our yeah. in our podcast relationship and mm-hmm. you look to me like I'm some big deal behind a microphone. <laughs> I oh, am. Yeah. Uh but hey, don't be afraid. Okay. People want to hear like listen. I can tell you people are tired of hearing from me all the time. They want you. So they just give them something. <laughs> give them something. What what do the people want? <laughs> I've already question. sang. I've already gave my pickup lines. Those are my only two tricks. No. <laughs> hey, you know what I do want to talk about? Mm. Where okay, we're we're trying to go to Czech Republic and play mm. hockey. Yes. Right? Um, and so I, I know you've never been to Czech, but you said go to Belgium? Budapest. Starts with a B, I was close. It was and it was in Europe. So really I mean really I'm like basically a right. Fifty fifty shot. Like outside of the hockey mm-hmm. in because Bel- here here's the deal with these hockey tournaments. Yeah. Sure, they're all about coming and drinking and having fun and, yeah. and playing hockey with like-minded individuals. That's all rad. But there is a secondary aspect of that, and it's going cool places. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about like the weekend destinations where the people drive from Dallas to Oklahoma City or uh, Iowa to Omaha. 
not that, 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 that's something different, but I'm talking about when we get, when we mount the crew up, Oh yeah, get mount them up Everyone's and we go and, and we go someplace like Budapest. Mm-hmm. What else are, can we be doing outside of the hockey? Like what's, what's the draw? Like when I went to Austria, mm-hmm. obviously Oktoberfest was going on in yeah. Munich. Mm-hmm. So we got a little bit of that flavor. Yeah. Um, the big ass castle in Austria was rad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I also, I mean, I got to go to Rome, uh, which my big thing, I was there for 36 hours and I'm a huge history nerd and that was really rad. But like what, if we say, okay, fuck it, we're going to Belgium. Budapest. Budapest. <laughs> <laughs> I say, we're going to, shot. we're going to go to both yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Why not both? That's my motto really. Heck, yeah. um, what, w- what would be something that would interest some of, our beer league brethren oh, okay. or s- sisterin. What's yeah. all y'alls? What? Yeah, y'alls. But what's it like? Brethren is brothers. Like, yeah. what's the what's a fancy word for sisters? sisters. It's not sisterins. No, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, all y'alls. What all y'all's. would introduce all the beer league y'alls? All y'alls. Ooh, picture this. Pick. Should I close my eyes? Clo- close your eyes. Okay. Picture this. You just had a really hard weekend playing some beer league. Did I win? Um, yeah, you blew you blew a guy a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so your your muscles are sore. Mm-hmm. You're kind of like, yeah, I don't know, you know, not feeling. You're feeling a little run down, maybe like you are right now after your big weekend. <laughs> okay, my eyes are closed. I'm feeling this. Okay, picture this massive thermal bath, but it's dark. Plus drinking. Plus, lights and music. It's a rave in a big hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> co-ed rave? Co-ed rave. Wow. Yeah. You can open your eyes now. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. I want to close them again. Okay. All right. Um, is it closed? Bathing suits? Yes. Okay. But it could be optional. Okay. Depends Back. how risky you're wanting to be. But Risky or risque? Yep. Okay. Either. So it's 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 clothing optional. Clothing optional. Was anyone nude? No. <laughs> okay. So no. <laughs> because in 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 Japan mm-hmm. they have like saunas. Yeah. I don't know why my eyes are so yeah. close. Um, <laughs> in Japan they have saunas and you yeah. can't wear clothes. Oh, okay. And you can't even have tattoos. Oh. If you have tattoos, they won't let you come in. Your toast. Uh, because they say that you're uh that's you're with the yakuza. And here I am with my one little tattoo on my mm-hmm. arm that I got because my first wife made me get it the night before she died um and they're saying oh sorry no tattoo i'm like good rule yeah it, well i mean i get it like mm. the yakuza is the big gang there so oh, they don't okay. want any gang affiliation but that budapest clothing optional dark thermal bath sauna rave sounds incredible yeah, yeah. but it also sounds like the recipe <laughs> For a disaster. Yeah. And I, I'm up to that challenge. Mm-hmm. And that's just one night. Which is night number one. Well, I only need yeah. one. Oh. Right? After Columbus, right? Because I went so that's hard. True. I mean, how hard am I going to go at this, Colum- at this uh, Budapest slash Belgian sauna rave? Yeah. Well, if you're able to go for round two, boat cruise, party boat cruise, all you can drink, looking on either side of the river, seeing all. What river is that? Starts with a D. I can't pronounce it. Dun B Dun. Okay, we'll yeah. work. On, I I don't yeah. pronounce. Okay, that sounds like Dun something. B, yeah. I mean, listen. I, I want to go to the Czech Republic because I know mm-hmm. a lot of people over there. But Budapest is sounding like you keep yeah. talking it up. I like know. this is like Every you time. need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. And um, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I played hockey in a lot of places. Yeah. And so to be able to do it in a crazy place like this and be able to take like this crew of the BLPA and mm-hmm. the Dex crew. And to take them on an experience like this would be absolutely insane. Wild. How expensive is Budapest compared to other European countries? So when you're going to Eastern Europe, like your Czech Republic. Way and cheap. Way cheap. Way cheap. Way cheap. I talked to a guy today that said that his team mm-hmm. rents ice yeah. at uh, 11 o'clock at night. Okay, it's a little late. little, yeah. They pay $28 US for that <laughs> ice rental. Whoa. For one hour. Wow. It's nuts. Yeah. So, so, uh, Budapest, same yeah. kind of deal. I not sure on hockey, uh, on rink prices, but, but I mean, just food, in terms, yeah. Drinking and food, lodging, 
Yeah, they've got oh um, ruin bars too. Those are fun. Like what kind of ruins? So after a whole bunch of places got bombed out, they kind of made bars out of it. But they have a whole bunch of random stuff. Like there's bathtubs in the bar, and there's old vehicles, and there's just any random thing you can think of. They put it in this bar, and there's different like there's like a wine bar, a cider bar, a beer bar, a shop bar, a mixed drink bar, all in one bar. Beside a food truck stall with a bunch of food trucks. So there. Rad. There's three days. Three days. But, I mean, you got to have three days for the draft and the hockey and yeah. all that stuff, too. But I'm super, like, you keep talking me up. Mm. And here's the here's my my issue. Mm-hmm. When I get that in my head. You, you got to do I, it. Well, like, once I start doing it, I don't say no. I just mm-hmm. go, okay, let's yeah. make it happen. Okay. So it's getting scary. Like, it, it could happen will happen oh and you're speaking it into existence there you go all right last thing for the day we've talked about our hockey gods Mm -hmm. but we need to send offerings towards one and i can think of no better person in this podcast room right now to give a mouth hug than you brooklyn your skill is uncanny i hear yeah yeah and so i do (laughs) i'm (laughs) i'm going to let you Take over. I'm probably going to close my eyes too. Okay. Well, once again, for the second time in the podcast, if everyone can close their eyes, just sit back, relax. Who, who is this? Who is this going to? This is going to Null. Oh, the Nuller. Okay. Yeah. So specifically, if you can close your eyes, Null, sit back, relax, and enjoy the mouth hug. There was a hockey god called Null who loved every woman he saw. He played lots of puck with ladies had luck, mostly because alcohol. Thank you. Sound <laughs> very good. Very good mouth hug. Thank you. And I think, uh, I mean, it was just the right. You could open your eyes. It's just the right amount of time for him, mm-hmm. I think. I think he's pleased, pleasured. I think I that so. uh, I hope he rain. <laughs> I hope he rains his blessings all over <laughs> us and the <laughs> rest of the beer league crew. All right, guys, that's episode number 205? 205 or 206. It's one of those two. Hopefully you'll join us next week. If you like what we're doing, Mm -hmm. you can always support us at Patreon, patreon.com slash Beer League Inc. Also hope all of you beer leaguers come out to one of our events, whether it's ones where we're just getting drunk and acting like idiots or the ones where we're getting drunk, acting like idiots and playing some hockey or ball or whatever or golf. And we love you. Thank you for the support. We'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Be good or be good at it.